Uh -huh. Well, from Dixie Lanes in Covington, 10th Annual BPA Merit Tournament, sponsored by Mickey Link, distributing of Northern Kentucky and Miller Beer. Made well, the American a, way. Okay, a couple of lefties uh, going at it here. This is Bob Hammond. Just threw one in the 1-2 pocket, left the 7 pin. Bob rolled a uh, 300 game in qualifying to get here last week. And his opponent, Jeff Combs, rolled a 299 in qualifying to get here. So these guys like these lanes. Bob just cross lane, picks up the 10, or the 7 pin, rather. And here we see Jeff Combs. Ready to start here. 188 average. Jeff starts with a strike. Now Jeff gets uh, 19 pins handicap, and Bob Hammond gets 27 pins handicap. So we have an eight pin difference uh, starting the match. Jeff walked back and around tournament director Bill Murphy and his first comment was that's not where I wanted it but up in our vintage <laughs> point Doug it looked pretty good yeah it didn't look bad at all <laughs> he starts getting to where he wants it uh, Bob Hammond's going to be in big trouble well, I don't think he got that one where he wanted it either pulled that one high and leaves the two pin yeah Jeff uh, along with a 188 average He's had a high series of 721 and a high game of 279. Well, 299 now. We're going to have to update this. 299 as of the qualifying uh, last week. And he picks up the two. He's just been bowling for five years. That's uh, some pretty good accomplishments for just being uh, a veteran of five years of bowling. That's right. That's like making your college team and jumping right to the major leagues in baseball but uh, Jeff yeah. is succeeding at this rather remarkably yeah Bob for the power strike just blows the five into the ten and everything's off the deck well Bob Bob doesn't have to bring his uh, cheering section here they're all stationed here Bob is night manager here at Dixie and uh, if he brought his family along got enough right there for a cheering section. Yeah, Bob's got a double. Bobby's on a roll. Doug, Bob has ten children. Is that right? And well, that's amazing in itself, isn't it? Here's Jeff. Oh, tough break. Got it where he wanted it, I believe, that time on lane eight. Swung it out a little bit, got it to come back, came back light, and uh, leaves a 7-10. Not what he wanted to leave. Doug, how many conversions have you seen of the 7-10? I've only seen that made twice. It's, uh, oh, he gave it a shot. I've seen it le left numerous times, but only seen it made twice. It's, uh, the odds against making that are very great. Jeff is a native of Bellevue, and he bowls in that Wednesday night social league down at Walt Center Lanes. And like you said, Doug, with just five years' experience, Jeff is on his way for quite a career in bowling here in northern Kentucky. Yeah, he's, uh, he's just 23 years old, so he's got a lot of uh, good years of bowling ahead of him. Got that one in the pocket. Just not getting any carry, uh, Ron. Leaves the seven pin. Uses a five-step approach. Going cross lane for the seven. And he's got it. Bob is uh, carrying a 183 average this year. He's been bowling for 14 years. 
Highest series ever is a 737, and of course his high game ever is that 300 he shot in qualifying. Got it in the po in the pocket, but leaves the seven pin. He's going for that turkey. Well, Bob has a 19 pin advantage over Jeff Combs at this time, and. He'll try to take out the seven right here. He's got it. One of his uh, one of his fans back here when Bob let that ball go, he says, "Uh oh, look like it might be headed for the uh, the gray area." But uh, he kept it out of there, picks up the seven. Well, by virtue of that double in the second and third, Bob is now taking a hefty 30 pin advantage over Jeff. Using a 16-pound fingertip ball. He knew that was a little high. He was holding his head on that one, just hoping for the best. But uh, he got a break. Just left the six pin. There's a name right there that you see. Mickey Link distributing, a name synonymous with entertainment, not only in bowling, but in all sports activities here in northern Kentucky. And one of the great sports enthusiasts in greater Cincinnati. Bob goes cross lane, picks up the set. So we're halfway through our first men's match, and we'll be right back in just a moment for the conclusion of our game. Miller Beer made the American way. <laughs> All right, Jeff Combs will be. Approaching lane number eight as he begins frame number five of this match with Bob Hammond. Jeff with a 188 average, and as Doug said earlier, just five years into the sport of bowling. He's right there. Perfect shot. Jeff uh, looked like he found, uh, found his mark on that ball. He's got to get comfortable with the shot, and he's got to start continuing to do that. He was down 29 pins, so he's got some ground to make up, but he's still got some, some paper left. So, Well, he's got a tough competitor with Bob Hammond, and, of course, bowling on his home turf, and tremendous amount of support here. Puts it in the pocket light, but just can't carry that 7-pin. That that to, excuse ahead. me, Doug. That had to be a big thrill for Jeff, just being in the game five years and bowling a 299. Yes, that's that. Well, that's a big thrill. No matter how long you've been in the game, uh, there's a lot of people have been bowling for a good number of years that, that never get to that point. That's every bowler's dream, of course, to throw that perfect 300 game. And it's uh. It's a letdown when you throw that last pitch and you think you got a strike for that perfect game and one one of them just will not go down. Well, Bob, that's the worst shot he's made in the match. He pulled that one real bad. He's got a tough spare to pick up. He's got one, two, seven, eight. Bob, uh, should know these lanes real well. He's not only a night manager here, but bowls in uh, five different leagues here. Well, he tried to try to get away with that. That didn't work. Left the eight pin. Bob now on lane seven. Oh, he left a mess that time. Pulled that one high. Leaves the 3 7 10. That's tough for a left hander to pick up. It's uh, tough for a right hander as well, but it's easier for a right hander to uh, come back, throw the ball in between the 3 and the 10, put the 3 over to the 7. Tougher for a left hander to be able to do that, especially the 3 pin is scooted over to the right a little bit. He gave it a shot. 
but he leaves at three and seven. Well, as you saw on the tally board, Bobby Hammond now with two consecutive opens. So right now, Jeff Combs, with a big mark here in the seven, could close that gap. And yep, he begins to plug the dock up right here. Yeah, we've got a two-pin uh, difference now. Jeff is just down by two. Got that ball with a 14th board. <laughs> Went Brooklyn, got away with it for a double. So now Jeff is in the lead by eight pins. Well, the pendulum has swung over to the Bellevue native. Bob got a break on that. Came up light, was looking at the uh, 5, 6, 10, or 3, 5, 10, rather, got the 10 out. Bob needs to pick this up. This is a not only a foundation mark for him, but... And he's got it. Well, now the confidence is starting to drain back for Bobby, and... He needs a big one here in the ninth. 148 and a seventh. Spare in the eighth for Bob Hammond. Jeff Combs looking at that double. A little high, Doug. And yeah, he pulled it high. About the same uh, shot he made last uh, time he was on lane seven. This time he gets uh, gets a break, gets a seven pin out of there, leaves a three ten. The three is scooted over to the right a little bit again. Let's we'll see if he can fit it up. No, he knew it when he let it go. He pulled it too much. Now Jeff has uh, got about a 19-pin lead. There's the turkey. Now he's up to a 31-pin lead as we see his shot here again come up light. Got it in the pocket, but uh, staring at that seven pin again. Well, Jeff, if he can hold his spare and uh, strike on his fill ball, he's got a potential 225, and the best Bob Hammond can do is strike out for a 205. So Jeff picks it up. Bob's anxious to uh, get up there and bowl his 10th frame. <laughs> Jeff had to remind him he had uh, another ball to go here. Well, you're looking at the winner right now in game number one, Jeff Combs. Elementary right now is Jeff finishes off. 225 for Jeff Combs. Bob pulls that one up. Leaves the two, four, eight. He just, uh, since we took the commercial break in the fifth frame, uh, Bob 
just uh, just lost it. Had it going. He was up by 25 pins as of the fifth frame, and uh, we'll wind up losing by. He throws a strike this time by 30 pins. And Bob winds up with a 193. So our first men's match goes to Jeff Combs with a 225 to Bob Hammond's 193. And we'll be back with the final men's match in just a moment. A, a good cold Miller beer, Doug. Distributed by Mickey Link Distributing. Miller beer made the American way. And Ken Solomon will now try to make his entrance here at Dixie Lanes, a formidable one. In first ball, a little light in the pocket, leaves a seven pin. See how a uh, righty can do uh, against the lefty here this morning. Ken's a 38-year-old native of Covington and not a stranger here to Dixie Lanes. He bowls uh, five nights here. He's been bowling eight years. Cross lane for the seven, picks it up. Now Ken will be receiving a 39-pin handicap while Jeff Combs uh, has a 19 handicap, so we've got a 20 pin difference starting the match to uh, going to Ken Solomon. He's averaging 166 this year, and uh, his highest series ever was what he bowled in the merit tournament, 704 to qualify. Jeff comes up light, leaves a three pin. Well, we've got two old pros here to merit tournament TV action here. Jeff and Kenny both were participants in our fifth week of action out at LaRue and Kenny came in second and Jeff followed up in third place. And yeah, Jeff picked up the spare. Jeff works over at the Fast Temp Corporation. He's in inventory control. Had that ball right where he wanted it, Ron. Perfect shot, but he wasn't rewarded. Ball came in, drove the five pin uh, straight back. Didn't didn't go into the nine pin like uh, like it's supposed to and. Thus, he leaves a 9 10 spare. That'll even put gray hairs on a 23 year old. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and he's got it. Well, sitting here watching the motivation of Kenny Solomon as he watches Jeff Combs' ball. Here's Ken Solomon, lane number eight. Ken's got quite a rooting section here as well. That ball came up light and blew him out. Ron's well, going to run down the uh, our other top qualifiers uh, last week here at Dixie Lanes. For the women, Mary Owens, who was keeping score for us, came in fourth. Cheryl Hammond came in fifth. Sixth was a tie with Sandy Sexton and Darlene Collins. Eighth place Mar was Marlene Jelnick, who we saw on the show last week. As Kenny came high on that one, lays the 4-10. Uh, our other finishers were Kathy Clyer in 10th place and Margie Cooper in 11th place and I think I skipped 9th place. Debbie Stewart came in 9th. And 
Ken plays the save and picks up, picks up one. And the men qualifying uh, last week, fourth place went to Jerry Isles, who's over there uh, keeping our score right now. Fifth place was Dan Roberts. Sixth place was Fred Rayburn. Seventh place was Wardell Gibson. As we see Jeff for uh, another light strike. Eighth place, Mark Sampson. Ninth place is Mike J. Johnson. And tenth place went to Ray Markham. Like I say, get out to uh, Glenn Schmitz next weekend and try to qualify for the Northern Kentucky BPA TV Singles Merit Tournament. Give him a call at Glenn Schmitz and uh, get signed up. And we'll see you next week on the tube, hopefully. <laughs> Jeff gets his double. Kenny just uses a, a three-step approach. So he has a real quick delivery. Perfect shot that time. Through all ten in the pit. Kenny uses a 16-pound fingertip ball. He works at uh, Stern Vending, taking care of the service problems. Here we see Kenny on split screen. He's a little upset with himself that time, Ron. He's talking to himself. He, he let that ball get away from him and didn't come up. Leaves the washout, one, two, four, ten. Kenny's a spot bowler. And Missed that spot by two boards to the right. Kenny now with a tough one right here. He saw it. Gave it a shot, but ball hooked a little bit too much on the end. And he left the head pin and the 10 pin. So Jeff Combs. Jeff's got a, a triple or a turkey, as it's known. Miller Light and Strohs. Once again, three great products. Synonymous with a great individual and a great company here in Northern Kentucky, Mickey Lake, distributing company of Newport. Yes, exactly right. Mickey is a uh, great sports enthusiast. Had that one in the hole, but he's staring at another seven pin. Jeff's got a 24-pin lead at this point in the match. We're halfway through. Yeah, he's got it. Just a reminder that qualifying will be coming up at Glenn Schmitz in Newport. Come on, come on, come on. There's Kenny Simon. Kenny, uh, another good shot. He's got to start putting something together. He's got lane eight down. He just can't uh, find lane seven, though. But he needs to find it real quick. He needs uh I could sure use this double. He needed 
that shot. A good pressure shot for Kenny. Got a break on that 10 pin. Just got a little six, gave it a love tap to get it out of there. There's Jeff's a good power ball. Jeff Holmes. No doubt about that one. Yeah, Jeff's not to be denied here. He's telling Kenny, uh, I'm going to make you work for this if you're going to try to take it from me. Jeff has a 14-pin lead here. As we see, he has a 188 average, 19-pin handicap. Got a little slow with that one, Ron. He uh, hit his mark with it. He thought it was going to be a good shot, but he got a, took a little speed off of it, and thus it hooked more than normal on the back end, came high, left the 4-7. Two of our youngsters here at Dixie Lanes. And... Picks it up. Speaking of youngsters, there's no better time than in the summertime to take the family out for a bowling trip. Put that right up there on the list with camping and ball games and spend a great evening at your local BPA provider. There it is, a turkey. Got that one light. Well, I think that registered a 9.5 on here. the approval meter. <laughs> here we see and it again, Ron. Comes in light, head pin goes to walk, comes back off, kicks the five out. Don't go away, folks. This one's not over yet. Kenny can do no wrong at this point. He pulled that one, pulled it bad. Here we see it on the replay again. He pulled it just perfect, right in the one-two pocket and blows them all 10 out of there. And Jeff, Jeff answers the call. Jeff is down is down now by six pins. So he needs he needs all of them here in the tenth. And he's got the first one. Jeff has a tracks out right now for a 257 game. Didn't get away with that one. Had it in the hole, but the four pin just fell right in the gutter. Would not take the seven out. So with this spare conversion, he'll wind up with a 246. Ken could uh, has a possibility of striking out for a 266. And 245 for Jeff Combs. Jerry Isles is indicating a 245 for Jeff Combs. Kenny needs this first strike. He has to have it to win.
Jeff is our winner. Kenny pulled that one high and uh, just ran out of magic on that last shot. Leaves a six pin. Well, that's when that 16 pound ball gets awful heavy. Yeah, it starts to feel like about uh, 35 pounds. Well, if he holds a spare and strikes on his fill ball, he'll wind up with a 242. And he's got the six. So, uh, a valiant effort by Ken. He's going to come up a few sticks short here, but uh, he was down early in the game and came back. make a match of it we've seen some good close matches today Ron great competition this afternoon and 240 so Jeff Combs wins uh, the men's championship bowling 245 to Ken Solomon's 240 and we'll be right back with uh, check presentations and uh, the bowlers interviews see you in a minute Miller Beer, distributed by the Mickey Link Distributing Company of Newport. Miller Beer, it's less filling and it tastes great, right? What do you think about these great bowlers here at Dixie Lanes, folks? Let's give them a hand. <laughs> now let's make some presentations right now. Doug, let's introduce Mr. Frank Santo, and he'll make the presentations to the women today. I'll hand this over to Frank. Frank, well, it's all yours. You grab the mic and then I'll I'll okay. pass the checks out if you don't mind. Okay. Kathy came in uh, third place. We had some close matches today. Congratulations. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Anita came in second place. Congratulations. Thank you. And Rosie, you were tough. You made it, you made life miserable for him, but you had a good match this morning. Congratulations. Thank you, Frank. And now we're going to let Miss Debbie Combs, the wife of Bob Combs, the proprietor here at Dixie Lanes, and make the presentation to the men. Debbie? Okay, we have Bob Hammond, came in third, $90. Congratulations, Bob. Ken Solomon, second place, 125 Congratulations, Ken. We have our first place here, Jeff Combs, 175. Thank nice bowl, Jeff. Thank you, Debbie. I didn't mean to embarrass you about your husband. Now, uh, right, right, right. Uh, where is where is the good-looking guy? That's there he is. There he is back there. Doug, we had a great morning of bowling here with these six individuals and. Uh, some outstanding bowling here, and again, it's just uh, another example of this great competition here in northern Kentucky. Well, that's exactly right. Uh, I saw some great bowling this morning, and uh, they bowled real well to get here in the first place. And uh, there's no losers on this show. You know, everybody's a winner that uh, makes it on the TV show. And I'm going to talk to the ladies here and get some of their uh, feelings about bowling this morning. First of all, Kathy, um, I think this is your first time on the show, I believe. And uh, were you a little nervous this morning? A little bit. <laughs> uh, it can be a little nerve-wracking first time on uh, on the show with uh, the cameras and the lights and so forth. Uh, we remarked earlier about uh, you don't waste any time to get up on the lanes, do you? No, I don't. I don't like to think about it. <laughs> well, that's probably good. We, uh, you know, noticed that you were getting right up on the approach and, and make your shot. And um, that's probably good. That uh, if you take too much, I should have, I guess. <laughs> well, you never know about this game of bowling, but you did a, a fine job this morning, and we congratulate you. Thank you, Anita. How are you this morning? Uh, you ran into a tiger here in Rosie. Uh, this, I think, your first time on the show as well, and you bowled a whale of a game. Yeah, I just I had trouble getting out of my ball. I think it was just my nerves. Well, at uh, your your experience now, so next time we see you back. Uh, May we'll see you as the champion. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And Rosie, this is one of our bowlers at Super Bowl. And uh, I'd like to congratulate you on uh, two great games this morning. You really uh, bowled well this morning. Thank you. You think uh, being on the show, you've been, uh, you're one of our veterans. You've been on before. You think that uh, 
helps you, uh, you know, get over the jitters? I don't know. I'm still nervous. Were you still nervous? We didn't show it this morning. Uh, you bowled two super games, and uh, congratulations on being our champion this week. Thank you. Now I'll step over to the men. Bob, uh, you should know these lanes real well. Uh, being night manager and bowling, I think, what, six, five or six leagues here? Six. Six leagues. Uh, we were talking about you were doing real well up until the commercial break there in the fifth frame, and then uh, just kind of fell apart. I choked. <laughs> well, that happens sometimes, but... Uh, uh, you did something that uh, all bowlers want to do uh, sometime during their career to, uh, in qualifications to get here. You bowled a perfect 300 game. How'd that feel? It was all right until it was over with. I uh, got nervous. <laughs> well, you didn't get nervous until it was over with. Well, that's that's good. Uh, congratulations on that 300 game. And Who was your uh, teacher? John Combs. John Combs, yeah. yeah he's, uh, he won't come up and show his face. <laughs> yeah, John... John's, John's a little uh, chicken like that. He always has Debbie come up here, uh, the better half of the family, to make presentations. But good bowling, and uh, congratulations on third place. Thank you. Kenny, you were our only right-hander here today. How'd you be feel being here with these left-handers? I just wanted to beat one of them. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, you did try. You uh, just come up a couple pins short. You came back uh, strong in that game. You were down, uh, I think, 20-some pins, and uh, came back and made a match of it. Yeah, he wasn't going to let me beat him twice. Well, you had, a, you had a big rooting section for you back here. <laughs> the best. <laughs> well, congratulations on the second place finish. Jeff, you uh, did real well this morning. You're our champion this week. And uh, uh, I think you've been on the show once before, hadn't you? You think that, uh, think that helped you? Uh, I know it did against Bob. That's why I'm the vile nerves got there. Yeah, that uh, first time out, that happens. Uh, you had a big game as well in the uh, qualifications. Uh, had a 299. What was the, the pin you left? Six pin. Six pin. Uh, what'd you do? Come a little bit high and Just a little bit, but it's a little too high. A little nervous in that tenth frame? No, nah, not really. Not until everybody started yelling. That's when <laughs> it really got to me. <laughs> well, it's all over with. Uh, I think the nerves hit you then. Anyway, congratulations this morning on uh, great bowling and uh, for being our champion this week. We'll see you back, I'm sure. Turn it back over to Ron. Well, thank you, Doug, and. Don't you all agree we saw four great matches here today, Dixie Lanes? Four great, great matches. We want to take this opportunity before we leave to thank everybody here at Dixie Lanes for their hospitality. John Combs in the back, his wife Debbie, uh, Ray Hoffer, system proprietor. Also like to thank Mr. Bill Murphy, the tournament director of the Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament Action. And Doug, I'd like to thank you uh, for being part of our action and also the great technical assistance that we had with Lawson Productions and invite all of you to watch the qualifying that will be taking place next week at Glenn Schmitz in Newports. All right, so once again, congratulations to Jeff and congratulations to Rosie for their wins this morning at Dixie Lions. Week number seven of the BPA Merit Tournament is history.